Welcome everyone, let's transfer data from iPhone to Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4. Real quick, if we open up the Photos app, if your Z Fold 4 is in the setup screen and you see copy apps and data, just tap on next and skip about a minute into this video. I'll let you guys know when to follow the next instruction. If your Z Fold 4 has already been set up like mine, just open up the Google Play Store, tap on search and search up for smart switch like so and then download the samsung smart switch mobile app if you need to update this app update it to the latest version now we're going to open up the smart switch app you can see transfer your data just tap on receive data tap on iphone slash ipad and now you see connect to iphone or ipad if you were on the setup screen earlier you're now going to see the exact same screen so you can now continue with the instructions so you're going to get your iPhone charger cable, you can see mine is the lightning one. You're going to connect one end into the iPhone and you're going to connect the other end into Z Fold 4. But in my case, my charging cable is USB type A and that won't fit. So I have an adapter which converts USB type A into USB type C. If you need an adapter, I'll have the best price for one in the description. So I'm just going to connect this guy in like so. We'll give this a couple of seconds for things to recognize. So it doesn't seem like it detected anything. So I'm just going to flip the lightning cable early, uh, over. And it worked for a split second. Maybe I need to flip the adapter over, like so. Connect. And I'll just try one more time here. So I'll flip it over. And there we go. Go. So it took a couple of, a couple of attempts there. I had to switch the cables over. Uh, I'm not going to make this tutorial look perfect. Now it says check your iPhone. So on the iPhone itself, it will say trust this computer. Tap on trust, and then enter in the passcode for your iPhone. Now we'll tap on next, and you can see on the Z Fold 4, it's going to say connecting to transfer your data. So right now it's just going through all of the files which are in your old iPhone and then with those old files of course it will be able to transfer them over to your Samsung. So this searching part may take quite some time so oh, it took five seconds there. <laughs> Alright so we have calls and contacts, messages, apps, data, all this stuff okay just scroll all the way down select what you want and then tap on transfer right here. I'm not going to start the transfer process uh, because it will just take too long but once you tap on transfer wait for things to complete don't unplug your devices and you'll be good to go. So with that being said thanks for watching see you guys later bye bye.